All right. And we are live. What is going on, everyone, who is watching this after we end up going live and you guys are watching this um, offline or rather in general, just after we go, after we finish off the live stream, today we are going to be playing some Apex Legends, but on mouse and keyboard, because our arthritis is at an all-time high. Today, we are basically forced to play mouse and keyboard, otherwise our thumbs might actually fall off, um, says the doctor. True, true facts right there. I even have a doctor's note. Your thumbs will fall off if you continue to play on a controller. So, today we're going to be seeing if we can um, do... The Lord's dirty work on the keys of the boards and the mices. Um, yeah, we're going to see what we can get going on today. We did a little bit of R5 warm-up, doing some 1v1s and some some aim training and whatnot. And yeah, we're going we're gonna to see if if it's made any difference here in our gameplay. So let's kind of start off here. Let's start off with some, what, with some duos. Let's we'll start off with some duos. Today we're also on the alt account because I know that this is going to be absolutely... Uh, destroying my hand. Is this pre-recorded? No, it is not. We are doing this live. <clears throat> uh, am I full mouse and key now? No, not quite yet, dude. Not quite yet. I'm still very inconsistent on the mouse and key, so I don't want to switch over full time because um, it's just going to like kill my gameplay if I do. Now, we do have a coaching session here, um, 7 to 7.30. But for some reason, I think that... Oh, yeah, we do actually have a, a session, 7 to 7.30. Oh, yeah, we got a 1v1 session, 7 to 7.30. So we're going to probably do about um, <clears throat> an hour's worth of, like, gaming here. And then we're going to go do our coaching session right now and after, and then we're going to get back to playing some pubs and stuff. How long have you been playing Apex for? Dude, Isaiah, great question. I have been playing um, basically since the very first week. What's going on, Derek? How you doing, man? Betrayal, what's up? Ozzy, what's up? What's up? OMG Fort Life, welcome back, my man. We're chilling today, boss. We are chilling today. All right, let's do it. Ugh. Um, you know what? I kind of want to start off a little chill. Let's go land in the butthole. Bro, switch over soon. The potential is insane, dude. I'm I'm trying to switch. It's just it's super super difficult. The main thing for me is just like I fat finger my tab button. All the time, you know? Oh. I, also, I just got, like, little tiny short stubby hands. Alright. Oh, dude, is my mic on? Uh, what's interesting, boss? Oh. For a minute, I thought my microphone was open. I was like, um, oh, hold on. Forgot to do something. Change that to 1.7. Oops, 1.7. I want to switch this over to what my sensitivity is in R5 Reloaded. Um, and then that right there should be good. Did you hear me say butthole? All right. Uh, dude, oh my god, moving on the keyboard is actually just, he hears everything. I bet you do. Yeah, what's going on here? How you doing, man? Oh, yeah, what am I saying right now to my stream? This guy probably smells like a butthole. An absolute raccoon's tushy. Nope, I don't think what I said would get me banned. <clears throat> Alright, let's get it. <clears throat> Got a guy right here. Is there a guy above me? That slide. Oh. Dude, 
I'm having an aneurysm right now with my gameplay. See in here? Oh, they're all under. They're all under. Okay, okay, that makes sense. Alright. What's my career kills? Um, probably across all my accounts and platforms, probably close to 200k. Dude, where is this guy? I... Okay, he's gotta be like right underneath me. That did not just happen. Why is there a bruiser? On that site. Or on that gun. Okay. You're building a monster PC since switching from console. Huge. Just try um, having 6% emphasis on console potential. So much more for improvement. Dude, 100%. 1 million gajillion percent. Dude, what are the odds of that happening? Dude, what are the odds of that? What is my ping? I'm lagging. I'm actually lagging now. Here comes the push. Alright. Just barely got out of that one. Is he pushing me? He's pushing me for sure. What is that? Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh, please leave me alone. Please leave me alone. Please leave me alone. Oh my god, dude. I can see his gun poking right through the wall. Dude, no way, man. No ammo! No words. I guess my FBI agent uh, quit on me. Okay, so I got that one team down low. I've got another team over here who's probably gonna come in third part of me. My girlfriend's phone is blasting music. That's a decoy. Different team. Why is that one team playing so scared? Oh my god, I'm dying. Leave me alone! Hit my heat shield! Take it! Oh my god, this seems right behind me. Please! Mm. Oh my god, they're coming! Please, 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 please! Please! How am I alive right now? I'm gonna one mag one right here. No, I'm not. Take your balls back.
I'm gonna go third party for the loot here. Oh, maybe? Maybe I'll get some cheese out of this? Ooh, yeah, baby. Alright, we're in it to win it. Dude, I'm not even good on mouse and keyboard. I'm like, barely able to move. Oh. Not getting thirded yet. Keyword, yet. Oh shit. Okay, right here. That's a decoy. Leave me alone. Where am I getting shot from? Oh, you're dead. Oh, there's literally no movement to grow when you guys are on console, especially on console. There was room to grow when, uh, like, if you guys played control or PC, but then they removed tap strafing and basically all movement. And now there's just, like, zero room to do anything. Um, if, like, you're a controller... That guy dead? Hold on. Hold on. I can, like, barely see this guy's body. I'm gonna put a zipline right there. I don't have a zipline. Okay. Hold up. Wait a minute. Oh, I'm stuck in the open. Oh, I'm stuck in the open. I'm dead. Oh, I'm committing. I'm committed. No! Oh. Have I tried playing with mouse acceleration on? Um, I have. It is definitely a weird feeling, um, and I wouldn't really suggest it to some people. How's MK going? Dude, it is a nightmare. Okay, we had two fat fingers that last match, so we gotta fix that. Um, I'm gonna move that right there. Um, how do I change that? Here we go. Text. We had two fat fingers where we accidentally hit tab and we got stuck in our inventory menu. When I hit my, um, I try to open up my, my inventory so I could take out my heat shields, and then I accidentally got stuck in it <laughs> as soon as I took it out and I was having an aneurysm, dude. Yeah, what's going on, Con? I'm chilling today, man. Pathy on top. For real, dude. Pathy's, in my opinion, the funnest legend to play. And one of the best legends. Did you end up um, settling on a DPI or sense, or are you still testing the waters? Um, Bazooka, I think it was you, that other stream, who said that I should play on a certain like DPI. I think I'm still playing on 400. I'm either on 400 or 800. I don't know. I'm 400, 800 DPI with like 1.7 cents. And I'm liking it. I'm liking it so far. One of the hardest parts for me still right now is um, whenever I move my mouse off to the side, having to bring it back to center. It's it's kind of similar to like when you're playing on a controller, right? Like if you want to stop moving your analog stick like off to the side, you have to bring it back to center, which is really easy. Um, but it makes kind of like flicking like really hard. But for mouse and keyboard, tracking is difficult because you have to bring your mouse up to the side and then you run out of room, you have to bring it back to center. So you're going like, like that and it's just like super, super weird and awkward. That is probably the hardest thing for me right now on top of um, just like, you know, moving and looting and all that kind of stuff. Anything movement related on keyboard. Someone off to the left here, I'm pretty sure. Who is this? Oh my god, I got everyone broke here. What the f fudge nuggets just happened? Dude, huge clutch. Thank you so much. How do you book a coaching session? You can book a session by heading on over to my website, thedistrict.pro. Um, and that is the best and easiest way to do that. 
head on over to my website, thedistrict.pro, or click the link in the description of this and every other YouTube video on my channel. Dude, 1800 DPI does feel really smooth. I honestly love it. It's just a little too hard for me at the moment. It's my linear of controller. And right now I'm learning, I have to learn the classic first of controller. Let me just heal up first before I go get involved in there. No, dude, whatever. Oh, I just tapped out of Apex. Oh my god. Okay. What? The, dude, there's nothing in front of me. Why am I slow falling? Dude, I hit Windows key by accident. No face cam today? No, no face cam today, dude. My girlfriend's in her underwear behind me, so... I totally just one clip that guy. Is that guy sitting still? What's he doing? I would literally never be able to do that on a controller. Oh. Oh. Oh boy. No, dude, I messed up my jump. What mouse do I have? So I'm currently using my girlfriend's mouse, which is the Razer Death Adder V2. I got her that for Christmas. And my mouse that I use um, at home in Canada is the Razer Viper Ultimate, which is a little bit smaller and a little bit lighter. Imagine if I stole that kill right there. You can see me. Just want to get a little bit of damage. Ooh. Look at this team here. Right look at this team, see what they do. Oh. Dude, hold on, hold on, hold on. What? What happened to my um, thermite right there? Did it not throw? Why did my thermite not throw? I threw it like while I was in the air. Climb. Climb. Okay. There's my thermite. And it doesn't even get up, bro. Dude, I'm having a I'm having a really rough time right now. Yeah, I can't even do anything. You know what else I'm really starting to learn? I'm learning that I'm holding W key way too much because every time I go to hit like a wall jump or every time I go to like slide or something or just honestly whatever I'm always finding like I'm just getting stuck in place is that my teammate it's holding W way too much I need to get used to just like holding crouch you have a question of what's going on ask away my man 
How do you have fun in Apex? Just try new things, dude. Like, a lot of people, they just sweat too hard, and then they get bored because they either suck at sweating or all they do is sweat. So it's super important that, uh, you know, you try to loosen up, have, have fun with things. Homie can have that because he's just way better than me. The definition of a W cure? Yeah, for real. For real skis. Typically, the lighter the mouse, the easier to control aiming and movement. Um, I wouldn't... Mm, probably. Like, yeah, you kind of get a little bit more hand control, right? The main thing... How do I cancel? How do I cancel this? Cancel. There we go. Now, the main thing for me is just getting comfortable like not holding w the whole time like every time i slide jump i always hold w and then i have like a hard time tap strafing out of it and doing all that kind of stuff so learning all of the little things not to do and not just learning them but um getting familiar with it is super important random question what's my name my name is mason but your mom calls me daddy. Hmm. This probably goes on here. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm just joking, dude. I'm just joking, man. I don't like older women, dude. Your sister calls me daddy. Your mom calls me the son she never had. <clears throat> Do Hall Effect thumbsticks completely remove the issue of stick drift or just um, less prone of getting it? So, I am not 1 million percent certain on that. Just, oh, what the fuck? Oh my god, I almost fucking won like that guy. Um, oh, your sister's nine? I'm chill. I'm, I'm good then. Never mind, dude. He was the Eva 8! I think another team is walking up on us. No shot, dude. No shot. Okay, pop this. Uh, hold on. Fat finger. Dude. Fat fingers are real today, man. But yeah, no, I'm not too, I'm not entirely sure about the Hall Effects. I know the Hall Effects sticks, um, overall are just a lot more accurate. Um, stick drift is definitely going to be less of an issue because you don't need to worry about, like, the gears. Um, inside of your analog stick getting dirty or getting slow. Um, it's purely based off of magnets, but I'm pretty sure over time, magnets also start to lose their magne mag magnetism. I can't even speak. So that might be something um, that won't be as much of an issue in the future, but still something that you might need to... Did I just hear someone right here? Dude. Jesus Christ. You know what? Okay. I'm just dead sliding everywhere! Okay, dude, I'm just gonna... Just gonna literally do nothing this game. Is you gonna have the FBI at his house? No, dude. I am the FBI, dude. I own the FBI. I'm part of the FBI counter-terrorism team, you know? Just out here doing God's work. Want to focus on getting your movement smooth? Practice, 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 dude. Dude, if you, I think you said you were, you were going to be switching to PC soon, right? Getting R5 reloaded is like a huge, huge, huge thing uh, that you now finally get to do. So I would, if you can, definitely go and give that a give that a try. Dude, 
gesehen. Why do you not feel like you're getting better at Apex? Probably because you're not. And the reason most of the time why that happens is because you're just not focusing on things that um, need to get focused on. Someone was literally just shooting a longbow right there, and now I do not see them. Right, like a lot of people, they over-focus on aim and they over-focus on movement. Like, yes, that is obviously a good key part of Apex, but it's not the main thing. That's what uh, people kind of need to start figuring out or realizing. Dude, dude, I'm actually having an aneurysm with just what I'm inputting. What's in there? Okay, last few teams should be coming from over here. Damn, dude, his body is so small. Give me one v one. It's been twenty five days. Um, I don't think I ever said that I would one v one you if you hit twenty five days, my man. But maybe, maybe we'll, maybe we'll get that going. Maybe we'll get that going next stream. All right, you hit me up in the DMs and we'll we'll figure it out. Yeah, Alexander, you said that you had a question. Ask away, my man. Um, it's better it's better that you just ask. You kind of realize you kind of see how I just like read off random stuff on in chat here and there. If you just put in your question, um, I might end up seeing it, right? But every time that you ask, hey, I have questions, um, I may or may not see that message, and then nothing gets said, right? So just ask away, and I'll do my best to read it if I see it. But yeah, a lot of people, they don't get better at Apex purely because they only focus on things that are not super, super important. Like, you can have mid-aim, you can have mid-movement, and you can still win games if you just know when to push up, when you know when to push back, how to peek someone, how to make people look away, how to close the gap, how to create space, um, right? That's really the most important part. I've had people beat me in 1v1s whose aim is atrocious just because they have slightly better fundamentals or I make a mistake in my fundamentals. Um, crappy setup? No, dude. I know tons of people who have literal, like, dollar store setups and they play amazing. You cannot blame your setup at the end of the day unless it's just like... Oh. Fucking, what, what is Fade doing? Move like doing seer challenges right now. Oh my god, dude! Let me open. Let me open the box. Oh my god, dude. I, I'm, is my internet going fucking crazy? Oh, my internet is going crazy. I got tons of pack of loss. Literally shooting the wrong person. Oh. Dude, 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 grab the fucking zip line. Grab the zip line. I hear sound, but I don't see people. Um, 
four shots. What the heck? No, I have no more ammo. Oh, no, he has ammo. Please! Where's all the boxes at? Where's all the loot at? Oh my god, there's a guy right here. Maybe this building will have loot. I don't know. Ooh. Maybe? Nope. Oh. Okay. Dude, we're chilling. It's gonna quit because I'm not there. Called it. I'm probably gonna quit too. If I got killed like a noob. Now there was that team behind me, right? Dude, why am I lagging so bad right now? Oh my god. Oh, you know what? I should probably low-key come and look at this res. Maybe I'll pick up a free kill and then get some uh, cells or maybe some ammunitions. No. I don't want to chase him. Oh shit, I'm fucked here. He's ratting me, watch. He's gonna be crushed. Oh my god, dude. Just gonna heal up real quick. Lifeline Wraith combo is what we need to 1v2. So every time I get a knock, that lifeline's just gonna come. Oh my goodness gracious! Why are you playing so scared? Please! Please come out of your cave. Dude, it's like I need to- it's like I need to jump into a fucking, like, ant's nest. They're just sick. oh my god, I'm fucking... Ugh. Where you go? Oh. Oh my god. Let me alone, let me alone, let me alone. I'm a virgin. Oh. He took it away from me. Is YouTube my full-time job? No, it's my second job. YouTube is my second job. My full-time job is house husband. Take care of my, take care of my lady. And our Yo, six cats. Up? Yo, what's going on? How are you doing today? Not bad, just getting on, so I'm ass. Oh, dude, you and me both, man. I am the bee's knees when it comes to being ass. Yes. How has mouse and <laughs> How has mouse and keyboard been? It has been, dude. It has been um, good, bad, and worse. My bad. I didn't hear what you said. What's up? I said, who were you playing? Oh, uh, yeah. I kind of just play whoever it auto picks for me. Oh, 
that's an interesting playstyle. All right. Yeah, man. You know, at the end of the day, it's about having fun, right? Not about sweating your ass off. No, it's just depressing out here, bro. Yo, what's going on, Dune Star? It doesn't matter. Well, it's only depressing when you have to fight people like this, so. But yeah. Has anyone else had latency Do issues you know? since the season started? It might be an internet thing. I would check out um, what's going on with your local service provider. Why is my teammate's name 10E53A1DDAEA06FC? That seems like a cheater name. I'm gonna hit my thing there. Yeah, I'm married to your nine year old uh, sister, British Wombat. Oh sh oh, oh. Nice. I'm the door the That made sense. Dude. Ah, uh, GG man. We're gonna go run it back. How have my hands been? Dude, I've been waking up every single day and my hands feel like there's a knife going through them. That is, that's pretty much the main reason why I'm playing on mouse and keyboard right now is, it's just like my hands are in so much pain. All right, we gotta do a coaching session here in a little tiny bit, so I'm gonna shoot them a message. Ah, uh, but yeah, my hands have been absolutely killing me recently. So I've been, I've been doing my best to kind of just take a break, relax, um, and all that stuff. By the way, guys, we have some videos dropping, um, hopefully tonight and tomorrow and the next day. We got three videos coming here really, really soon. I'm really excited about them. Also, if you guys are in our Discord server... And you see that there are links to OnlyFans and, you know, pornographic Discord servers and websites. Please do not click them. I've had so many people recently um, click, like, scam porn links in our Discord server. And then their account gets hacked. And then I get spammed all of your porn shit that you th thought that you should click on. If you guys want to watch porn, you know, this is not financial advice. But please, if you want to watch porn, um, go to Pornhub. It's free, and there is tons of selection on there. You are not going to find what you're looking for on Discord. As well, if you're, <laughs> if you got to look in very specific places for the stuff that tickles your pickle, you might need professional help. Grab that arc star. Link. He's super gliding. Dude. Please come to me. Thank you. All right, I'm probably gonna be absolute booty cheeks here with this prowler, but hey, man, we'll make it work. Spider pig over here, arc star, stick him. He's gonna swing out this side, dude. Wow, what did I say? I said it's gonna be absolute booty cheeks, but I said with the prowler, and it was actually with the car. So I can only expect that uh, our prowler gameplay is going to be significantly worse. Guy's going to be shooting me right in the back. Cool. I'm going to create a little bit of reset. Oh. Let's see if I can help my boy. Dude, my, my recoil control is on another level of shitty right now. Oh, I got to back off. He's going to push my boy. I'm going to try to shoot here for him. Oh, that was a juicy little spray. They're all broken, dude. They're all broken. This team is going to run through the open. 
He's broke. He's got to back off. I'm going to heal or res. He's going to instantly die. Under. See you later, alligator. I'm out here. Okay, probably switch off there, right? Because that's not really working. What do you say, babe? What do you say? Yeah. Fat finger tab. Yeah, I fat finger tab twice. I, honestly, I should probably kick that up a little bit more because I've, I've just been fat fingering all day. Thank you for the kisses, babe. Thank you for giving me that extra aim assist in the form of love. I have to go take the dogs out. Uh, okay. Yep. Okay. Have fun. Yeah. Don't choke. I'll try not Yeah, me and Lex had a really great relationship. You know what makes a super healthy relationship, guys? And this this here is some real life advice. Do not have sex right away. Me and Lexi started our relationship super long distance. And um, soon after we met, we ended up getting separated by COVID. So we actually didn't even get to like really hang out and be with each other for years. And then um, after COVID kind of like slowed down and relaxed and, you know, flights opened back up again, then, or, you know, you, you start crossing the border all over, um, we started seeing each other. And at that point, like we've already had so much time to build up our friendship and not be sexual with each other that we had such an amazing connection with each other, you know, emotionally, phys not physically, emotionally, phys uh, not physically, emotionally, psychologically. Um, and just, you know, all around it, every, every single way. So, if you guys can, avoid the temptations. And, uh, we'll have a phenomenal relationship trust. Oh, heavy mag, want to grab that. Okay, thank you. Finding tips for roller. Dude, I got tons. I'm actually the roller god. Um, that's why I'm playing on mouse and keyboard, because it's so, it's so easy that I needed to challenge myself. Just kidding, I'm probably the worst controller player and mouse and keyboard player. But, best tips for a controller is you really got to get comfortable um not over pulling the stick or my bad not um constantly putting in little micro corrections that believe it or not is one of the biggest controller player killers constantly trying to like oh i gotta pull that oh i gotta pull right up pull that pull right up pull that pull right it just really kills your shit. so learning how to pull smoothly and not jittery um, is what's going to kind of fix a lot of the issues that you kind of have. Where is everyone, bro? Like, My is ready. I feel like there's going to be a team right here. They literally just, they literally just looted this and there's no one here. What did they loot and then quit the game? Like, oh, there they are right here. My face is itchy and I'm grappling on someone and I really need to itch this. Alright. No, dude. Honestly, a lot of people think that aim assist does all the work. Trust me, dude. It does not do as much as you think. If my, dude, if my, like... If I'm having a day where I just haven't like really ate all that much food and my reflexes are just not there at all, I can't hit shit even with aim assist, dude. 
And I'm a really fucking good player, man. I'm a really good player when I'm feeling good. A lot of people, they use aim assist as a coping me uh, like mechanism. They just blame aim assist for everything. They blame aim assist for just like not being good or like putting in very little work or focusing their attention on like the wrong things. Um, it, it definitely helps, don't get me wrong, it definitely does help. But at the end of the day, dude, that is a lot of pure skill. I don't think I've ever been absolutely rocked by a controller player who wasn't a professional. Like, I've played against tons of people when I was on console, or when I switched over to PC, and, dude, I don't think I've ever just been absolutely shit on and gone, oh, dude, fuck, dude, he's playing on a controller, obviously, that's why. Never once in my life. If anything, I think I get rocked more by, like, mouse and keyboard players than I do controller players. It is super hard to be a great controller player. Not saying that it's not super hard being a great mouse and keyboard player. It's I, it's probably harder. Um, being insane, but you know the skill ceiling on, on controller is so low that most people don't even get close to hitting it. Like, is my girlfriend better than me at Apex? No, dude. She, dude. If you think, I, <laughs> dude, no, my girlfriend's awful at Apex. She's she's probably one of the worst Apex players you'll ever see. I actually met Lexi playing Apex back in um, 2019, the very first Christmas event. Dude, how did I how how did I miss that? Oh my god, I just accidentally hit my fucking scroll. What is that lag? Bro, what the fuck? Alright. What just happened, dude? Hold on. I gotta full screen this. I need to go back and see what my packet loss was right there. I got like I need to see that. Alright, I go down, I'm going down the, the stairs, I tap shift around the stairs, 1% packet loss, 50% packet loss, and I just lag all the way back there, bro. Oh my god. On their screen, I was probably standing still. Just not moving. Looking at the wall. And they just shot me. Oh my god. Just to show your friend 1v1, let's go, bro. Proof or it didn't happen. I need to see. I need to see the proof. Technical issue rubber band, man. 1 million percent correct with that one. Honestly, dude, I think that was just a skill issue. I think, I think I'm so bad that I made my game. Oh, dude, I have a coaching session. All right, we got a quick 30-minute 1v1 coaching session where we're going to figure out um, what is happening with our good friend's gameplay here, why he's struggling. Jobby. Coaching Jobby today. Jobby on Steam. Ah, oh, dude. All right, hold on. Got to open up Steam. Oh, excuse me. Can you please join a VC in my Discord server? Why is my Steam not loading? There we go. Okay, friends, add friend. Enter their Steam code 69, 
nine, four twenty, six nine. What are my PC specs? Um, this PC here isn't a crazy one, like my one back in Canada, uh, but this PC here has a, uh, what is it? An i7 13 something K processor um, with like, I, I wanna say 64 gigs of RAM but it's DDR4, so nothing too crazy there. Uh, it's got a water cooler in there. Um, what else we got? We got a 4070 Ti. The motherboard is not the best. The motherboard is pretty shit. I wish I upgraded my motherboard. Honestly, guys, if you guys are going to be doing, like, if you guys are building a computer, and you're going to be doing tons of, like, editing and stuff like that, make sure you have a good motherboard because you're going to be plugging in so many different things into that motherboard. You need to have as many USB Type 3 um, ports as possible. Um, and then also make sure you have a really good power supply. Because this thing here, dude, as soon as I plug in, like, as soon as I fill up all the ports on this motherboard, my mouse starts lagging. My controller randomly disconnects. Like, everything just goes to shit. So I, I have to, if I'm going to be playing or streaming, I actually can't even plug in my hard drive. Because it just fucks everything up. Alright, let's see if Jobby um, added me back here. Don't not see him. I'm just going to leave my party on open. And then when he is able to, he'll just hop right on in. You, sh you shave like a water cooler. I'm not too sure what that means. How do you get better? Dude, you can get better in so many different ways. The number one way that I suggest people um, get better is watching other people play and asking them tips. A lot of people also really over focus working on aim and on movement. It is definitely a thing that you're gonna want to practice, but it's not something that you only want to practice. So just keep that in mind. Jobe, hello, Jobe. Um, you created a trio chat. I'm just gonna make a duo so that no random people hop in, um, and then I'll drag you. Okay. Okay, sounds good. Jobe. All right, Mr. Jobby, let's get it, my man. Um, my lobby's open, so if you want to just, once you're in Apex, um, just click join. You can come hop right on in, okay? All right, sounds good. Joining now. All right, cool beans. So, my brother from a third mother, what are we working on today, man? What was kind of like the goal for today? Today, I, uh, I, I've been playing Apex for a while, and I feel like I lose fights like crazy. And uh, the highest I've ever gotten was uh, plat four, and I uh, I play with kind of the same group of people: my cousin, my uh, uh, my other cousin, and we uh, usually our strategy is pretty good. But whenever we actually run into a team, I uh, we end up just losing the fights usually. And I notice like my my performance is pretty inconsistent like sometimes i'm i'm really uh i'm really good and other times i'm just like what is going on i'm i have to be missing something my my highest kill game is 18 kills and that was at the end of last season um and that might just be because at the end of the last season you know people were were sorted in their proper uh uh what is it called like ranks proper, uh, Ranks, yeah, yeah, that's right. Because it was the end of the season. And so, at the dude, beginning of the season, I'm just getting stomped. I'm like, okay, what is going on? I, I think I might be doing something wrong. So that right. super high kill and, game was that in ranked or was that in pubs? It was in ranked. It was in ranked. It was a it was a gold two lobby, I think. Okay. Yeah, and I mean, it that that super high kill game might have just been like mostly luck because I I we the circle pulled us far north of the map on storm point and everybody was just running up the hill and i had a really good position so what and, kind of damage um, you have with that super high kill game that high kill game was 3800 that's that's a great game then yeah i mean that that's a yeah. pretty legit game um yeah, that's no far though but before that my previous high was 11 kills okay i i haven't i haven't ever gotten a four kill game 4k 
skill game. Uh, yeah, highest was like the 3500s, 3800s. Okay, what are you consistently dropping? Like, let's just say you get a decent game. Like, what is your consistent decent game? Consistent decent game, I would say, is between five to eight, five to eight kills. Um, five damage wise. Kills. Oh, the damage wise. Damage wise is like two twenty eight hundred. Okay, huge. So it's, it's, it's in the in the two thousands. In the okay. two thousand, I go, man, that was a great game. Okay, and I got one more question here before we kind of go hop into some some movies. We really start dialing in what's happening. Um, when you play, are you really good one day, really bad the next, and it's like kind of up and down with just like how you're playing overall? Yes, yes, and even sometimes match to match, it's just like sometimes I hit a groove where I really can feel where the opponent's going to be. You know, I can peek properly, and then other times. It's almost like I, I sometimes I feel it and it happens naturally where I just I, uh, I play really well, but but I, I don't really have an understanding of what I'm doing. You know what I mean? It's so, just kind of sometimes it happens and sometimes it's it's like <clears throat> oh my gosh, mm -hmm. I just caught in the open. That was a stupid push. Okay, what so I got a per I got a personal question for you here, and this is this is kind of what I'm thinking might be a, a strong contributing factor. Not that it's going to be the main one, but it's it's probably a strong contributing yeah. factor. Um, how good is your diet? Like, how, how good is my diet? Not, not even in oh, terms of like the quality food that you eat, but like how often do you eat? Oh, that's an interesting question. Well, I actually, I'm going through a lot of, um, I, I eat pretty often. I, uh, I'm allergic to a lot of different foods, so my diet is super clean, but mm. I've, I've been having to like adjust it recently. So okay. beginning of this year, I was eating a lot, like 3,500 calories. And, yeah. Uh, uh, every day because I wanted to gain weight. I weigh like 160 right now. Yeah. Um, but anyway, I I uh, I have to see an allergist, and he's like, ah, oh, you got to cut out these foods, those foods. So I'm kind of going in a process where I'm like, oh man, I gotta like not eat this, not eat that. So yeah, it has been a little bit erratic the past two weeks or so. So the reason why I'm asking is a lot of people contribute their inconsistency to just them being inconsistent. To, to be frank with you, dude, a lot of people's inconsistently inconsistency r literally just comes from their diet. Um, at the end of the day, you're, you're doing an activity, right? And if you're not fueling your brain properly um, with the proper nutrition, whether it's just carbohydrates or proper, you know, just clean food, um, you're going to play like shit. A lot of professional players, they have nutritionists and like they eat insanely clean um, and they eat often too, so that their brain is consistently fueled. A lot of people, what happens is they're playing, and then they kind of stop. You know, like their the blood sugar starts dropping, and then they just start playing like shit. So keep that in mind. Um, keep your body clean, and you're gonna find that your consistency is gonna stay pretty pretty level. If you're a shit player, you're gonna be consistently shit, and if you're a good player, you're gonna stay pretty consistent with just how good you're playing. Um, That's a good point. Yeah, no, no worries. Same same with food. I mean, same with sleep, right? A lot of people, they really underestimate that. Um, now, with that, you know, aside, let's kind of look over at some 1v1s here. I'm going to have you grab an SMG and an assault rifle. And then uh, if you want to trade out the SMG for a shoddy, go right ahead. And I'll just copy you here. So you got a, a volt. Let's go. Let's go. Flatline volt. Flatline volt. Okay, I like that. I like that. We'll do all Wait, blue attachments go, here. Uh, all blue. Okay. Now, are you controller or mouse or uh, mouse and keyboard? Uh, M and K. Okay, sweet. Me too. I'm on my M and K grind, so let's get it. One upgrade at a time. Can you go sight or no sight? You can do whatever sights you want. If you want to put purples, blues, golds, uh, red, black, white, green, go right ahead. All right, we're good. We got it. All right, sweet. Oh, and red shield. Yep, red shield. You're going to want to grab that gold box right there. Oh, yeah, that's right. I forgot about that. Got to upgrade it. All right, gold beans. Let's get it. Now, you were kind of saying that, you know, like your, on av like your average decent games, you're dropping like 12-ish hundred damage. What that's kind of yeah. telling... Oh, my bad. Um, make sure to grab a gold helmet here. Or, oh. yeah, we'll just kind of max out the helmets. 
Now, what that's going to tell me right away is that we might have a little bit of a passivity issue, or um, yeah, it could very well just be a mechanical aiming issue. But a lot of the time, what it's going to be is people just aren't looking enough at what's going down. So what I'm going to be kind of looking for here um, within these first couple 1v1s is how you're peaking, how you're engaged, how you're not engaged, how you're moving up, moving back, and doing all that kind of stuff. I'm going to play really aggressive, and I'm going to play really passive. So don't think too hard about it. Just play off of what's going down the way that you normally would. No abilities, just shooting and moving. Um, and okay. then from there, we can kind of figure out where you might specifically be lacking, okay? All right, sounds good. Let's do it. Right, I'm going to have you go on that ping right there. All right, cool beans. Three, two, one, go. So, um, oh shit. What I'm kind of looking for right now, chat, is how is he looking at me? If he knows that I'm over here, right, and he, oh, what the fuck, I just tabbed out. Oh my god, I just tabbed out by accident. How aggressive is he going to be, and how is he going to be looking at me? Like, right now, he's not too focused on putting himself on me and forcing that damage to get put in. All right, let's start that over. Okay. I kind of tabbed out there and you fucking beamed me right in the back. <laughs> All right. And then if you, you, you I, I, hit, I, I, I hit tab oh, by accident out. and then I got like stuck in like the legend menu for a minute. Oh my gosh, okay. All right, if you just right. hit um, map and then click on your legend, it'll full heal you. Two, one, go. So we want to see how aggressive he's going to be. If he knows that I'm playing over here because he can hear me, is he going to be constantly looking to be putting me in front of him? He's also strafing really far out. He's strafing out here. So if he steps out really far, it's going to be really easy to be shooting nonstop and constantly hitting him. He's doing a pretty good job making sure that he's looking at me. But he's always standing in the open. You see how it's just super easy? I can literally just stand where I'm at and just be shooting my gun nonstop. Um, if you hit or yeah, hold bleed out. out yeah, hold bleed out, pick it right back up. Yeah. So we're noticing a couple things so far. We'll kind of just keep doing a couple here. Three, two, one, go. Now if I get some damage and then put myself on him, is he gonna stay there? Well, he's actually got some pretty good shots. Yeah, I, I literally can't even see him climb up there. His aim is a little wonky. Enemy down. Okay. Alright. Let's quickly start off here with probably the biggest thing that I'm noticing right off the rip. And that is how you are constantly standing in the open. Now... You're standing in the open in a couple different ways. There's a couple things that's forcing you to be in the open, or rather things that you're doing that's just making you be in the open. The number right. one thing that I've seen so far is almost every single time that you shoot your gun, you shoot a majority of your magazine. So what we need to start seeing more from you is less coming out and then shooting and then coming back in like that and more breaking that magazine up into portions where you're coming out, you're still going to shoot the same amount of potential damage... But as you're shooting, you're stepping back into cover. Every time you do that, you're going to make people miss their shots. That's going to keep your health up. And then you can re-engage with the remainder of your mag and the remainder of your health. You're just you're putting yourself into a situation where you're going to be getting shot the entire time. All right? So we want to okay. break that up and keep our health up with little things like that. Another thing, too, causing you to take extra damage for no reason um, is you're strafing really far off of your cover a lot of the time. So for instance, instead of playing really tight so that you can shoot and come back in really quickly, you're yeah. coming all the way out here, and now you're just in the open way longer. Yeah, yeah, I'm breaking away too much and I'm just getting beamed. Yeah, so yeah. what we want to kind of start putting, like what we want to start kind of working our way towards is less stepping all the way out in the open to see something, and if you can't see something from where you are, don't overexpose yourself. Instead, 
rotate to the next piece of cover that can see where that's coming from. So if I can't see you okay. from over here, I'm not going to play right here. I'm going to play right here. And now, again, it's one step into cover as opposed to if I'm way out here, I got to take a whole bunch of extra steps. Okay? Okay. All right. Yeah, I can do that. Yeah, that makes sense. Sweet. So that's the very first thing. The next okay. thing is going to kind of tie back into that whole making sure that you're working your way to, you know, that next piece of cover. A lot of the time, maybe not a lot of the time, but there's a good portion of the time where nothing's happening and you can hear me either shooting in a certain spot or you kind of hear me standing in a certain spot or moving in a certain spot. I need you to make sure that if no one's looking at you, you are making sure that you're looking at that person. Don't wait to see me. Force yourself to see me. Force me to be on your screen. Okay? Okay. All right. That makes sense. Let's give that a try. Three, All right. Um, two, one, go. Very far off your cover right there. You stepped, I saw you step all the way out to right there. Yeah, same thing again. <laughs> same thing again. All the way out to the other. Three, all right, all right. two, one, go. Well, I'm lagging. So I hear your sound. I'm trying to put that sound in front of me. Good shots. You see, you're playing your cover way better. You're making it way harder for me to actually hit you because you're not spending nearly as much time out in the open. Perfect. Now, as you're winning, I'm going to want to start looking away from you more, right? Because if I just keep standing in the open, you're going to start shitting on me. So as you do damage and make me disengage that fight, remember, your goal yeah. is to be engaged. You want to be looking at me when I'm not looking at you. So you should be trying to close that gap a little bit so that when you make me look away next, like right now I'm looking away, now you can swing up and force more damage. When we say swing, we mean forcing ourselves on that person. Like right now, I'm not, I'm not peeking you, right? So you want to jump and force your... There you go. Force yourself on me like that. Yeah, when I have the advantage, just push up, cover to cover, then swing. Stop it. Oh, sorry, my girlfriend's... Stop fucking hitting tab, babe. Oh, my God. I'm oh, sorry. All right. But yeah, when you make me... When you deal damage, right? You make me look away. That is your cue. That is your opportunity to move through the open and now start forcing me to take damage because I don't want to look at you. And if you're poking, right, you can only shoot me when I'm, when I'm exposing myself to you. So you can't, like, you can only shoot when I'm when I'm allowing you to. You need to make sure that as you're doing damage, you're moving up and finishing that. Three, two, one, go. So I'm starting to open up a little bit. And now that we're playing closer, it's going to be a lot easier. If we make each other look away, then we can swing up. You look away. Remember, the more that you step out, that's a perfect peak right there. Nice. But the more that you step out, the more time you're going to have to shoot me. So if I'm way out in the open now, and then you peek and I try to straight back into cover, you have so much more time to shoot me. We want to peek out. So what's basically happening here is just a mix of those two things that we previously talked about with your aiming. You're, you're kind of just strafing out in the open, right? Nice, yeah. you're doing a little something that's going to make you hard to hit. But it's not about just being hard to hit, it's about not being hittable, right? So if I keep, okay. if I come out and I'm just pre-firing where I should be, or pre-firing where, sh where you should be, you're right here. I'm going to strafe back in, I'm not going to move my cursor. I'm going to strafe back out and I'm just shooting there. And then as I shoot, right, if you're 
where you should be to be shooting me, I'm just instantly going to be connecting shots. And as you're connecting shots and that person's like, oh crap, I need to look away because he's hitting me. Oh, my internet's lagging. As that person's looking away, you can be crossing up to force that person to now be in the open so that they stop hiding from you. Okay. Does that kind of make sense? Right. Yeah, it does. Yeah. All right. So again, literally main thing is that we just need to practice kind of like tapping to come out, tapping to come back in, tap to come out, tap to come in. If you're holding down on that key, you're strafing out too much. So you want to be tap out, tap in, tap out, tap in. All right. Now, another thing too, okay. you notice how these fights, they're not ending at a distance, right? They're ending up close when we force each other to be in the open. It, the close or you know as we're taking this fight our goal is to be closing that gap so we can force damage if you mm -hmm. are continuously playing at a distance you're not going to be getting it so if you know now right now you know that this is how a fight plays out starts off at a distance works its way closer finishes face to face if you start noticing that someone is closing that gap on you and you are not going to be the one swinging them to force damage you need to be the one swinging away to avoid the force a lot of right. a lot of the times what's happened here is you either push me when you're really hurt and you just basically force yourself to be stuck in the open or as i'm hurting you you let me walk all the way up on you so a great way to kind of just cancel that give yourself a second chance at you know fighting is just back yourself away from those fights you're locking yourself into something you're not winning and when you are winning you're not locking me into it all right right that makes sense, yeah. So if I'm getting, if I notice they're pushing up, I would just kind of play more defensive, back up, and reposition. It exactly. Be much more, much more defensive. You need to be super proactive. And okay, I'm losing. I need to be backing off right now. Otherwise, he's just going to lock me into a situation I cannot win. Okay. All right. Yeah, that makes three, sense. Three, All right. two, one, go. So you hear me, I hear you. We're trying to be the first one to look at the other person. Right now, you're not even peeking. So then I get the first walk up right away on you. Nice. You don't like that. You're going to back off. Huge. And now that you've reset, the only way for me to see you now is to run through the open and shoot you. Perfect. So if you're not looking immediately when you back off, I get to cross through the open again for free. Cool. The fight's been reset. Now who's going to start looking at who first? I hear you in the back. I'm going to start looking for you. And then if I peek you first, I get to start walking up for free. It's always going to be easier to act than it is to react. Nice. You fucked me up. I have to look away. Now you're crossing up through the open for free. You're trying to move up to that next piece of cover. Shoot to make me look away. Now you get to walk up for free. I don't want to get hot shot here. Cool. Now you're trying to shoot to make me look away and you're swinging up for free. I see. Yeah, but you're just sense. a little slow with it, so I'm going to back off. So now, when I start looking at you, I'm going to start forcing that. You look away, and now I'm on you. And I can force you to be stuck in the open right there. Right, okay, that makes sense. It's all... It's much more as, uh, systematic. I like Ye that. Yeah. You can kind of... Yeah, you know, that's, that's a great way to look at it. It's kind of systematic there. I kind of like to think of it kind of almost like it's like a dance, right? Like... I'm looking for you. If you're not looking for me, I'm I, that's probably like the worst example ever. Actually, never mind. I take that back. All right. It's more so like a, it's a yeah. big tug of war game, right? I'm trying to kind yeah. of make you look away so that, you know, you kind of set back so I can push up and then vice versa. If you're making me step back, you're trying to be pushing up. Right. Three, two, one, go. We're trying to force ourselves onto that other person. Now, I don't mind if you shoot your whole mag, but just take those moments to step back into cover. Avoid that damage. So a little burst out, come back in, burst out, keep your health up there. And as you start making that guy look away, you're trying to swing up for that next shot. Nice. I saw you pushing up. I'm going to back off so that you don't force me to be in a bad spot. And now we're back to a reset. Who's going to make who look away? Good shots. Good shots. I have to look away. That's your push right there. Okay. Leveling out a little bit. Good shot. Let me back up. Ooh, great shots. 
So I want you now, as you're noticing that you're putting in that damage, don't wait for that person to look away. You know that person's going to look away from you. Okay, cool. I see 20, 40, 50 damage pop up on my okay. screen. He's going to take a step back in the cover. That's when you're going to be holstering your gun to get all of that extra movement speed. And you're using that extra movement speed to instantly be crossing up. So maybe we're engaged right now and I get a little bit of damage. Now yeah, I'm on you. And now I can force damage. Yeah. Come into cover. Make you look away. Force myself on you. Come back into cover. Okay? All right. Yeah, that makes sense. Three, two, one, go. So you hear me? If you're not looking for me, then when that person starts closing that gap and they start looking for you, you're going to be in a situation where you're constantly the last one to shoot your gun. Enemy down. Cool. So as long as you hear that person or that individual, be trying to inch your way up, right? Obviously, starting at a distance is what's going to be that safer bet. But as you notice, oh, he's not looking at me. Oh, he's not trying to be engaged with me. That's your cue to start stepping up a little bit. It doesn't mean jump on them right away, right? But you notice how I hear you. I get a, I get an angle. I shoot you from wherever I can. As soon as I get in that damage and you take a step back, I close up a little bit. Okay, I can't really see you. Put you on my screen. Oh, a little bit of damage. He looks away. Oh, dead slide. Force you to be in the open again, okay? So you're trying to always be the one looking at them and if they're not doing anything now you're trying to force them to be in front of you okay that makes sense three two one go nice Sign up nice huge Hear my sounds. Shoot to make me look away and instantly push up. So I'm being passive, not really looking at you. Holster for that movement speed, cross on up. You're poking right now, you can't force any damage, so you just want to be closing that gap right now. There you go. Right, so don't be scared to take damage. The quicker that you kind of just get, or not even the quicker, my bad. The more that you get comfortable knowing, okay, this guy's hurt. He can't look at me that long without getting knocked, right? The better off you're going to yeah. be. So if I, if, if you're really hurt right now, you're still going to look at me 100%, right? But I know that if you do look at me, you're going to expose yourself and I can use that against you. So you, as the defender, can't over challenge, otherwise you'll die for it. And if you okay. do over challenge, cool. You're either going to let me walk all the way up on top of you, or you're just going to take a lot of damage standing in the open trying to fight me. So just force okay. yourself onto that person. Actually push yourself onto the, onto me. Okay. You're wasting a lot of time, and all it's right. allowing me to just shoot you for free. Yeah, there's too much too much dead space. There's like an opportunity, and I'm just like spending way too much time. Exactly. And a lot of, you know, I'll just okay. say like lesser skilled players, what they typically end up doing is they give other people the chance to do what they want and right now you're letting me do what i want which is be safe and cover whether it's healing whether it's doing something so take that away from me three right. oh heal up oh yeah, yeah okay three two one go i hear you you hear me you have to look away a little bit off that Made a big mistake. I'm just going to reset out of there. Oh, shit.
Okay, this fight's pretty fair now. Come down to a stalemate, so who's gonna make who look away then swing up? Good shots. Ah, got me as I was running towards you. I yeah. hit you. Yeah, makes sense. Alright. Three, two, come on, go. Good shots. So remember, right, the closer we get, the easier it is to, like, get swung. It's super important that when we are fighting close to each other, if you're going to make a swing, that that swing kind of brings you back into cover because it's just, it's just super easy to force damage in these types of situations. So right there, as soon as you kind of swung and you got in damage, instead of staying close, right, and then just peeking while close... You want to back away, remove yourself from that fight. So now okay. you can really keep your health up. Off that reset, now you can get back to looking to be putting in damage. The closer that we are to each other, the less we want to be peeking, right? Because I want you to just think about this right now, okay? Um, actually, from where you are, from where you are, so just kind of stay there, right? I'm going to stand right here in the middle of this rock. I want you, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna strafe into the open, but I'm gonna just strafe in one direction. Right? And I want you to ping what direction I'm I'm in right now, okay? Okay. Perfect, exactly. So you can literally hear where I'm moving to. If you come into cover right now, and then we're playing this close peaking game, and you start strafing off, I can literally hear you start stepping out, and I just know to shoot that particular spot. I'm going, oh, He's going to strafe into that spot. I'm just going to shoot that spot. Or he's going to shoot right there. I'm just going to shoot that spot. So the closer we are, the more that we want to swing and force damage because there's a lot less time for that person to react to. The further we are, the more that we want to poke. Now here's kind of like a little, a little secret that a lot of people don't really know about. Um, do you know what instant sliding is? Have you ever heard me talk about that before? Uh, I heard... You mention it, I, I can't quite remember. I, I know what it is, like you say, instant sliding. I'm like, okay, I can I can guess what that is, but I haven't really heard it explained. So instant sliding, I'm just going to change this here. Instant sliding is basically when we holster our weapon so that we can get quicker slides. So if I have my gun in my hand, excuse me, and I want to slide jump, I need to take a minimum of three steps. One, two, three. Oh, yes. Okay. Right? Yes, if I you holster, understand. it's one step. Now I want you to kind of think about this right here. If I'm taking three steps, mm -hmm. you get three steps worth of audio cue, right? I can hear you leading into the direction that you're gonna be moving. Now what happens if I only take one step whenever I move? You don't get a one step worth of audio. All you get is one slide, no audio, and then the person hitting the ground. So if I'm right here, and then I take one step and slide, yeah. all you get is the yeah, whoosh, you barely hear yeah. anything. But now if I'm right here, and then I go, you get all yeah. of that leading audio. So yeah. as we're making these pushes, it's super important. The closer that we get, the more we want to make someone look away and then swing up. So it's going to be super important that whenever we're ready to push, we're going to shoot, holster our gun, one step slide jump. So the only audio cue that we're giving people to react to is the sliding audio, nothing else. Okay. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, I find myself like pushing with my gun out a lot of the times or like reloading and pushing at the same time instead of just like quickly swinging. Yeah, it's way more beneficial for you to reload and cover, holster, and then have a really aggressive swing from the cover as opposed to running through the open, not able to defend yourself, lots of audio, moving really slow. So whenever we're trying to move, we want to make sure that our gun's getting holstered. It's going to save us so much time on the push. And because we're saving time, we're in the open a lot less, a lot less opportunity for people to shoot us. And as we develop as players... 
our goal is to lessen or remove options that players have. So if I can remove your option to shoot me significantly by just being in the open significantly less, I'm going to be way better off. And if I can close that distance quicker, I'm going to remove your opportunity to get away, right? I'm going to create more opportunity for myself and remove a lot of opportunity for you. And that's when we start creating these advantages. All right. All right. Makes sense. Um, cool beans. Oh, yeah. Let's do, do a couple more here. Was there anything in particular that you wanted to work on? I see that you do have a little bit of a recoil issue. I can kind of just see your bullets going, you know, like below my chin, above my head, to the left, to the right, kind of like you're doing circles around me. Um, do you know what, like, aim smoothing and, like, those different types of, like, recoil techniques are? Yeah, I've I practice a lot, but I, I will say that during fights, I'm not consistent at all. <laughs> yeah and probably too, it's it's like I'm, I'm way better with the 301 i like the flat line more but i'm way better with the 301 i totally feel uh, you i'm actually the opposite i'm way better with flatty so i i feel you oh, really? kind of like on that regard of like there's different guns that you kind of vibe better with um yeah something that is super important right now because it's not something that's built into your muscle memory to like actively be using while in these situations is to think about the mechanic that you're trying to do in that moment even if it's going to get you killed so right. like let's just say for the next week you only practice or you practice a couple di like couple different things right but in that gunfight practice aim smoothing so that you don't get all that crazy recoil and this is also kind of why sticking close to your cover is super important because as you start aim smoothing right here Right? Instead of being stuck all the way out in the open aim smoothing, now you can have these really tight aim smooths where you keep that recoil, uh, yeah, like that. Keep that recoil yeah. nice and level, tight to your cover. So you might hit a couple shots in the rock and like the cover that you're playing, but it's going to give you more chance to um, just kind of be spraying a little bit more. Yeah. Like that. There you go. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense because it's like I I know what I should do, and then but then when I'm in the fight, it's like it all goes out the window. Not yeah, just kind of winging it. <laughs> you're not. Yeah, exactly. You're not necessarily thinking about that particular thing. So until you've created muscle memory with it, you want to be thinking about that one individual thing. A lot of people again, like they just they don't really do that. They just kind of play the game. They hope that they get better. You're not going to get better by just playing. You only get better by thinking and working on that specific thing in that moment. Okay. All right, let's do a couple more here, um, and then we'll wrap it up. Three, two, okay. one, go. You're looking for me, I'm looking for you. My internet's going crazy right now. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah. It, what's your ping? It's not my ping, it's my packet loss. It just randomly spikes to like a hundred. Yeah, you, you were frozen right there for a second. Yeah. All right, right, you're winning right now. So your goal is to be closing that gap. You don't want to be playing this poking game with me. The more you play this poking game, the more I have chances to catch you when you step out in the open. There you go. There you go. Finish that fight. Catch me off guard. Make that swing. All right. Right, you notice, right? It's like as soon as you just do it, the fight ends. So that's what you need to be yeah. kind of focused on. You need to be focused on just making a play. It can be something as simple as what you did right there. You just slid on me, right? You gave me like yeah, no audio. Because it, it, it really is frustrating. It's either like I feel like I, I in an actual game I do better mid-range and close up. But then when it's this weird poke battle where nobody really knows when to push or when not to push or when is it safe to push, you know. It becomes like a poke battle that ends up me getting caught in the open. Yeah. And so actually, actually having a system of advancing makes a lot more sense. Yeah. So we're just simple as we're just using that poking to get people to disengage. And with that short forced disengagement, we're closing that gap. And now we're changing a fight from I'm not waiting for you to be in the open for me to shoot you. I'm going to literally force you to be stuck in the open and I'm going to get a bunch of damage put in. 
Now, what we didn't have a chance to talk about, because we haven't really worked into that kind of part of a 1v1 yet, um, when we do swing and force people to be in the open, what you did in that last one was you swung up and then you just shot until that person kind of died. We only really want to be doing that if we're confident that we can easily kill that person, right? So, okay, I got him like quarter health, half health, no shields. I'm going to just swing up and just one clip him. Cool. If you know that you can do that, 100% do. A lot of the time what we want to do, though, is we want to force people to be in the open, come into cover again. So you're going to force damage, keep up your health by disengaging. And remember, whenever we're the first one to do something, we always create some type of an advantage because they don't know when it's going to happen, how it's going to happen, um, when, it's, when, where, whatever. Right? So just make sure that yeah. you're the one doing something. You're the one to push. You're the one to come back in. You're the one to re-engage. Engage, disengage, okay. re-engage. All right. Three, two, one, go. Great shots. Oh shit, nice. Reloading my stupid gun. <laughs> All good. Now, was your secondary loaded? It's, uh, uh, it wasn't at the beginning of the fight. I forgot to reload it. Ah, uh, I do that all the time. But no, I, I see what you mean. It's like I, I got onto the cover and I forced you to be out of cover. But I didn't necessarily put myself completely out there. I just made you be in the open. Exactly. And then you took your step back in the cover. I couldn't shoot you. Awesome. The only thing that changed who was going to win that fight is being that next person to do that first thing right so you engaged first you got that first chunk of damage huge you're winning you backed off first you kept your advantage i made that next push and that was that's what's one that winning that fight so always push first back off first be the next one to push again and if you're not okay. ready to push again backing off so that you can recover is a great way to avoid being in that situation that you were just in so Swing, do damage, back off, dip, dip away, rinse and repeat. All right. All right, three, two, one, go. Do I have any coaching slots available today? Um, I do not. If you do want to book a coaching session, you need to book it in advance on my website. Um, link is in the description of this video here. Alright, I'm trying to close that gap on you right now. Oh, the internet is not... Oh, the internet's not good. The internet is so bad. You're freezing. <laughs> Dude, I'm, I'm like... I was rubber banding like all over the place. That's crazy. Yeah, your movements were a little bit goofy on my screen. <laughs> that sucks. Alright. Man, last... is, it, uh, is it like stormy where you are? No, it's perfectly clear. I think my internet's just ass. That sucks. All right, last one here. Three, all right, all right, all right. two, one, go. Nice. There you go. You're forcing that damage on me now. Oh, dead slide. <laughs> Good shots. All right, so get a win and wrap it up one. Any questions before we dip on out of here today, my man? Uh, let's see. No, no, I think that pretty much covers it. That was my issue. All of that. It was. It was just the basic mechanics of actually fighting one on one and how to push, how to, you know, that basically everything we went over because. You know, I understand the game a lot. I understand, like, you know, where to go on zone, where to, uh, all of just kind of the knowledge-based things, you know what I mean? But the yeah. actual mechanics of fighting, I was always just kind of winging it. I never really had a system or anything like that. So that that made a lot of sense. That cleared up questions for sure. Nice, dude. Super happy. Um, if you have any questions in the future about anything at all, please feel free to hit me up on Discord whenever. Um, 
answer everyone back as soon as I have a moment to. And yeah, dude, really good stuff today. Love to see that you made those major improvements right away, boss. Yeah, thanks a lot, man. I yep. watch your videos. I think uh, they're pretty sick. That's good, dude. Got some more on the way. Yeah. So if uh, you like aim training and stuff, we got one hopefully dropping tomorrow. Yeah, right on. All right. What do you think about season uh, 20 so far? I love it, dude. I absolutely love it. I do, however... Um, Actually, I don't think I have any complaints, so never mind. Never mind. Yeah. <laughs> I was trying yeah, to think yeah, of something cool. to complain about, but I couldn't. Yeah, it's pretty good so far. I like it. Same. All right. Good stuff, dude. a breath of fresh air. It really is. All right. I will see you soon. Um, and like I said, if you ever have any questions, hit me up on Discord, okay? All right. Sounds good. Thanks, right. Richard. Appreciate Later, you. man. All right. Bye. All right. Cool beans. Deshrae, can you coach me to become better than Fade? Oh, dude, of course, man. Of course I can, man. I can teach you to literally be, be better than Jesus Christ himself. You could probably take on Jesus and God in a 1v1 after getting a coaching session by me. What is the best NVIDIA settings for Apex? I do not know, man. I don't even tinker with NVIDIA settings. You know what I do? I just play the game. I just play the game and have fun. Yo, what's going on? Wow. Speaking of Christ, um, Chaleco Seek Christ over here says, yo, yo, what's going on, man? You're a crypto simp? I feel you. I'm a Lexi simp. You don't. Yes, I do. You said I was the worst of Apex. I was exaggerating. Oh, You're better than Jack <laughs> by a landslide. I love you. Chat, why are you guys fucking opping on me over here, huh? Snitching on me over to Lex. Can't believe you guys told her that I said that she was the worst in Apex. Now she's mad at me. Oh, I can't trust you guys at all. Yo, Ethanol, welcome back, man. I haven't seen you in a good old minute. Yo, man, what's the significance of the numbers in your name? Is that how many, uh, is that how many girls you've been with? Here we go. Ready up. Oh, dude, I should probably change my fucking dive trail, huh? I'm using my, my very old season, what is this, season one rank trail? Back when I had no idea how to play the game. Well, you can see me looting there. It, it would probably make sense for you to loot somewhere else. And now he's just following me, not getting any of this loot. We just got booking a session with you soon. See you there. Let's go, my man. I'll see you soon, homie. I will see you really freaking soon. He's hurt. He has to look away. I'm going to use that damage to start rolling on up. Because remember, people don't want to look at you when they're hurt. This guy, he's super hurt. He's not going to want to look at me. Damn it. How does he already have his ultimate? What? We just spawned in. That's him. Fuse fusing. Dude, he's doing more than fusing. He's, he's smoking that octane stim pack, dude. Yeah, dude, ethanol. Honestly, I love having randoms on my team. I get to meet some new people, but it is so annoying. 
when your randoms are just following behind you, looting everything that you're trying to loot. And then either one of two things happens. You either have no loot because he just follows you, or he has no loot and then complains that he doesn't have anything to fight with because he's just picking up your scraps. And it's like, dude, you could have literally just landed on the opposite side as me in the same area, and we both would have had equally same loot. The quality might be a little different because of RNG, but quantity-wise, it would pretty much be the exact same. Dude. My mouse and keyboard movement is pretty poopy. No, he walled, man. Could have grabbed this care package. I thought teammate would have grabbed it because he's so late to the push, but. No, I swapped the wrong thing. Crapola. Alright. Where's my light mag? Oh, there it is. It's in the bush. Yo, Tyson, what's going on, man? Welcome back, dude. How's my day going today? My day is going so absolutely fun. Jam-tastic, dude. Thank you so much for asking. Where's this team going? Over here, land on me. Alright, I want to be looking at them. Since they're not looking at me, he's moving up top. Right there. Oh. Oh, they're getting pinched here. We really want to make sure that we're moving up. I'm just going to throw an arc so that they can't move back into me. Oh. All right. Just had to make sure. Just had to make sure. Dead slides. Don't want to get pushed. I'm going to back away. Create some space. Oh, shit. Create some space. My guy's going to get in there. He's going to do God's dirty work. My team is going to glitch. He's just the best team ever, man. I was talking so much smack about him before, but no. He's cracked. Alright, what do we got in here? Take that for show. Some bat tries. Team coming here, I'm gonna look at them. He's hurt. They wanna look away, I'm gonna use that to Hope he doesn't come behind us.
How do I ping? There we go. Just gonna look for some light over here, my my dudesters. And dude, I'm I'm all good. Thank you so much. I just found like 150, so you can pick that back up if you need it. All right. Thank you. What's my favorite weapon combo, dude? Um. Uh, probably the Eva 8 and the Kraber. Who's looking at me, but they're not shooting their gun? Uh, I probably actually shouldn't have uh, made a portal. I look, he should have just evac. Why is that? Hold on. Why is that team making an evac? Right there, because that doesn't reach over, like... How do you rank up? Is he shooting our thing? Easiest way to be ranking up is just be focusing on your placement, so if you can be... Make sure that you're prior... Dude, why am I still falling? Are you kidding me? Make sure that you're prioritizing your rotations... Um, early and mid-game. That way, when you get into the end game. Everyone's just going to be rotating into you, and you can focus on taking fights from a really safe spot. A lot of people, like, they just, they try fighting way too much, and... Oh, dude, I almost, I almost jumped off the map. I was trying to tap strafe around, but, uh, I held W key by accident. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god! No! Oh! We go again. Well, damn. Let's uh, not talk about that. Let's not talk about that. I just got gravitied. Yeah. I just got gravitied to the maximum. Alright. I got a little bit left in me here, gang. And then I'm going to go and um, get some bear. What's going on today? Slightly average. I don't today, my man. Yup. Why do people cough in the mic and then they don't answer their teammates who talk, man? Seriously, I don't, I don't get why we have people like this. Just, just mute your mic. You know? Go go play solo queue. <laughs> God damn, 50, almost 50,000 kills on Horizon. Hey, District, quick question. I got a quick answer. Yes. There's your answer. Hope it helps. What's my biggest tip for getting a 4K badge? Literally, just look at what's happening. Dude, so many people don't even look at what's happening. And they uh, never get damage, and they wonder why they just don't drop big games. 23 with arthritis. Dude, get off me, you Fucking Oompa Loompa looking ass. God damn, man. A whole area to land here, dude. You know what? This is actually going to be a close range kind of game. I'm feeling it, dude. I'm. I'm. He's walking up on me. What the fuck? What the? Don't you dare. 
Oh my god. What was she doing? My guy's not dead. There's more people here. I know that there's more people here because I can hear them. I want to make sure that I'm not getting shot at. Just going to little reset here. No one's looking at me. As soon as I get this off, I'm going to quick little reload and start looking at them. Later. Totally did not steal all that loot off of him. At all. None of you saw that. I call it attacks. You guys can call it whatever you want, maybe theft, but hey man, that's literally what tax is. Just outright theft. And I'm taxing all day over here, man. How do you drive this thing on a keyboard, bro? I swear, dude, keyboards are literally made for, like, typing emails. that I'll drive and I'll probably get further and faster uh, oh there's a team shooting at us they might be watching might be watching me What the heck? What should I do? Letter limit. Sorry, dude. My bad. Let me kind of take a second to look at this. Um, also, I don't want to leave my squad. Okay, hold on. You sent way more. Hey, Dish, a quick question. I'm a multi-master player. I'd say I got quite good aim and I'm trying to get into comp. Now, my problem is I feel I'm currently kind of stuck because I feel like I need teammates as good as me to improve. Yes, you kind of and also kind of don't, but you kind of do. Also, I don't want to leave my squad behind. I feel like, dude, okay. Let me say probably one of the worst things I've ever said here on stream. You got to leave your team behind. If you're getting to the point where you've just outgrown your team and, like, you just cannot bear to, like, backpack them every single game because you've gotten better and they haven't, you have one or two options. You can try to help them get better or you can leave them and find a team that is better overall. When I was getting really good at Apex, um, when I was starting to get good at Apex, something that I really went through when I was back on Xbox is I was hitting Diamond, I was hitting Masters, and I was hitting Pred. And the people I was playing with just wouldn't, and they they couldn't they couldn't keep up in pubs. They couldn't keep up in ranks. They were really holding me back. I had to leave them, and 
I had to kind of just go through these waves where I was playing with like a different team every couple months because I just was constantly out improving um, everyone else. So, you know, you, you do kind of have to make a judgment call, you know, are you that much better than them? Um, are they really holding you back? Um, and yeah, you, you, you might honestly just have to call it quits, you know? Do I do VOD review? I do. So I actually do VOD reviews every single Thursday night, um, in person as a group session. And if you cannot show up every Thursday night at 8 p.m. or at 8.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, what you can still do is leave your clips that you want reviewed. I will go over the clips, um, with or without you. <laughs> with or without you and then I will be uploading that content or that that VOD review session oh, I just got dead I didn't even slide I kind of forgot to hit it right there and I will basically do that um, and then upload it to my website so if you want to join that it's seven dollars and fifty cents for the first month and that includes four VOD review sessions and you can get that by heading on over to my website, link in the description of this video. My teammate instantly left, like... Why, dude? Any reason why I'm playing duos? Because playing trios when I suck at mouse and keyboard is really freaking hard. Oh, uh, how long? I don't have enough time to get to that, I don't think. Do I? No, I don't. It's literally impossible. This team should land on them for me. They're just going to double evac here. I might be able to reach that one unless they shoot it out. Oh, shit. heals in here. Oh, thank God, thank God, thank God. Evac, huge. Oh, dude, I should have grabbed, um... Traps. Traps, what? Should have grabbed cells off that guy's box. I don't even know why I picked up that knockdown shield. I don't have a teammate to use a knockdown for. Whoa. Ugh. You know what, man? I'm in a really weird situation. So I don't want to. I don't want to walk up in front of that team. We're safe. Uh, what was I saying before? How much is lessons? So group coach coaching classes. Um, every single Thursday, we do VOD review where we actually go over your clips and then we also do movement classes. Um, those start at $7.50 a month for your first month. Um, and then we have one-on-one -on -one classes like you guys might have seen in some of my recent YouTube videos um, where I coach the dads or we literally just did one on stream for 30 minutes with um, a customer in a 1v1 session where we go over kind of like fighting mechanics and stuff. Um, those start at $25 because they're super personal and I'm only coaching you. I'm not coaching a, a bunch of people at the same time. 
all of that is on my website link in the description down below and if you ever have any questions about something in particular and you're not quite sure what the deal is please feel free to hit me up on discord i'm more than happy to answer whatever questions you guys have i had a i had someone earlier today book or buy the monthly classes um and he thought that it was one-on-one -on -one coaching sessions so i'm like no man not at all not at all so if you're ever lost please just feel free to hit me up i need to be on that building uh dude they're double holding me right now oh dude where's this pulling back over here so Low key being in that building. It's gonna be nice. Oh. Oh my god, my requill. Yeah, aim smooth that maybe. Swankers. Who are they shooting at? Whoa, he's got an Eva 8. Bisky. Where am I fucking... I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm so dead, dude. Oh my god, no audio on that guy. Alright, run it back. How, why do you support ruler configs in the Apex community? So, dude, okay, here, here's the thing. A lot of you guys got my whole perspective on things completely twisted. And that's perfectly fine. Because it's not your fault that you don't see every single video that I talk about configs and tap strafing and stuff. I don't support configs in the sense that you should be able to set up macros that automatically do stuff for you. I do, however, support a player's ability to perform the same types of mechanics that other players have access to. If you're driving for Formula One and you choose to drive a specific kind of car... You should. That's a bit. That's an awful example. Um, fuck. I'm trying to think here. I'm trying to think. I'm trying to think of something that's like comparable. Okay, here's an example. Imagine you golf. All right, your very first swing. Right when you're teeing off. Imagine if you weren't allowed to hit off of a tee. Right. Um, because you chose to use a certain club. Now, your other person who uses this specific kind of club is allowed to tee off of, or to rather swing off of a, a tee whenever he wants, right? That's kind of like the same thing here. Some players, dude, like, for instance, me, uh, I grew up 
only ever playing on a controller because I could never afford to play on a mouse and keyboard. And now I have to, you know, change inputs 20 years, you know, down the road to something that one is I'm not familiar with at all. Two, it's also super uncomfortable for me because I just in general have really small hands and like small hands is just not the best to play with the keyboard with, right? Um, and then also I just have arthritis in general too. So like playing with arthritis you know, isn't exactly the best for my wrists and like my shoulders and shit. All right, so a whole bunch of players have access to a whole bunch of different types of mechanics that controller players don't have like access to, right? Like mouse and keyboard players do, they can tap strafe. They have a scroll wheel that they can use to super jump instantaneously with. They can bunny hop and wall jump super easy because they can just scroll wheel their jump uh, their jump input right mouse and keyboard players can loot on teammates or my bad reload on teammates they can reload on doors they can swap to a specific weapon um while their gun is holstered right like I'm, and i'm not saying that like controller doesn't have its own um, advantages because it definitely does aim assist up close you know, our biggest advantage, our only advantage, honestly. Um, you know, like, that's, that's, you know, like, a mouse and keyboard just has so many things that they can have fun playing with, and they can kind of just use to take their gameplay to the next level. Granted, it's still hard, right? But they can still do it. Control players, they don't have that luxury. So that's, that's the only thing that where I'm coming from, is controller players should be able to input the same types of inputs as mouse and keyboard players and mouse and keyboard players should be able to input the same inputs as controller players that's all that's really all i'm saying but cfgs are literally altering the game no mnk tap strafe is built into the game that okay again you guys are not listening to what i'm saying at all i'm not talking about you should be able to config and you should be able to do a whole bunch of impossible things i'm saying that you should be able to replicate what the other input is doing when it comes to exclusive mechanics. What is my button to change? There we go. Dude, what is this guy doing? Oh my god, the fact that he's shooting at my teammate and he's not shooting me is insane. Since they've removed config, I've been getting wrecked. Dude, I've had some of my best games that I've ever played without configs. I'm getting wrecked because I'm playing on mouse and keyboard, dude. Get real. This is like the mouse and keyboard copy I'm kicking in right now. Dude, what the fuck? Yeah, in here. God, who? I kind of want to grab that flat line. Shut up. Oh. All right, there we go. Play ruler, and I'm gonna get wrecked. You're using M and K as a crutch, dude. What the fuck? This this guy is actually. Fucking retarded. 
what the what is he saying dude how do people go from you're using controller as a crutch to you're using mouse and keyboard as a crutch i don't dude i i do not understand how people's brains work sometimes this guy is the most bipolar person i've ever seen in chat other than people who go from absolutely hating on me to just loving and sucking on my dick this this guy is choking on the copium right now why am i playing mouse and keyboard i'm playing mouse and keyboard because i've got severe arthritis in my thumbs um it, it, like it just runs in my family and because i play so much um so much apex and my thumbs are constantly like strained and tense uh, it like my, my hands whenever I wake up feel like there's like knives being just pushed through them every single day. So uh, I'm basically playing mouse and keyboard right now to just give my hands um, a little bit of a break. Um, as well too, I really miss tap striping. So I'm actually doing this, you know, a little bit for fun as well. And a lot of people like this other guy in the chat who's just tripping about the whole controller aim assist shit. Um, you know, it's, it's also to kind of shut them up too, but as you can kind of see, people are just, you, you know, you're crutching aim assist, now you're crutching, crutching mouse and keyboard, so like, I, I just don't know what people want from me. That's not a person. Why is my gun not loaded? I'm dead, I'm dead. Did you don't listen to this, Miami? I did. I mean, I could care less, honestly. I could. I'm used to. I'm used to idiots saying whatever they want to say, but. Thirty crack. The yeah, it was just a solo. There's a button layout video. Um, District one v one me on M and K. <laughs> Maybe, dude. I might be down. I want to, you know. Okay, so here, what we're gonna do is we're gonna do an event really, really soon. And if you guys can beat me in a one v one, I will buy you an heirloom. But I don't know if I'm gonna do it on M and K. I don't know if I'll be buying people heirlooms when I'm on M and K because I'll I'll probably owe a lot. But controller, no tap strafe. It might be a different story. Like, dude, like, something like this. Like a super jump into a tap strafe 180 off a zipline. That's not possible on controller. Like, you're just... It's just so many doors, man, that, like, will never be open for controller players. And that's the only reason why I'm for um, configs, but I'm for limited configs. I don't, like, I don't think that you should be able to, like, neo-strafe um, automatically. Like, I think that's that's really corny, which is why when I was on controller, I never neo-strafed, right? But I do think that you should be able to input, like, a circle strafe, like, like that, or like that. Hold on. I don't even know how to do it right now. I need to take a minute and figure that out. Right? Or like being able to hit a wall jump and then tap strafe over the wall. I think that should be possible. Okay, come. I'm coming. Gyat. Oh, 
Oh, dude, I got wrecked. Why did I just knock over my desk? I just punched something by accident. Do I know how to fatigue wall jump on MK? I sure do. Oh, dude. My team needs to win these. He wins these. We're not using his own tips. Dude, I've been playing for a long time. I'm kind of tired, homie. It's all good, though. Let me popping off. Oh! Oh, GG. He must have that, dude. That's huge. The problem with controller cap striping is it lurches in all directions with full strength, even really good mouse and keyboard um, strafes aren't the same, and it's significantly easier to config. Well, no, I, exactly. That's... I, I get that. That's why I said I think that both inputs should be able to replicate the same inputs fairly right so if you should be able if, if you're able to tap strafe i think both inputs should be able to do that if you're able to lurch right into a circle strafe both inputs should be able to do that Fine, fine. NGT, add me. Add me. Let's let's do a quick little 1v1. Everyone's saying 1v1. District, can I promote my video my videos on district self-promotion because I'm a mobile player? Um if you want to promote your videos in the self-promotion channel in my Discord, go right ahead, dude. Um, but I probably wouldn't promote it in my YouTube chat because people are here to, to watch this content. I, I don't think people want to go, oh, let me go check out this random mobile Apex player. But you're more than welcome to in the Discord self-promotion channel, hence why we have a self-promotion channel. Does it... Does it worth to bind super glide macro or should I learn it? Um, dude, I'm not I, I wouldn't suggest playing with macros because I think you could get banned for that. Um But yeah, I don't know. I'm gonna let I'm gonna let you decide on that one, my man. I'm I, I would advise no, but I, I'll I'll let you figure that one out on your own. Hello, District Happy Gaming, me still learning. Me still happy that you're here watching. Appreciate you. Hopefully you can learn something over the course of this YouTube stream, and hopefully you guys can learn something over the course of the next couple of videos that we uh, drop on the YouTube channel in a couple days. I'm waiting for my guy to finish up his thumbnails and send it over. Uh, so yeah, sending invite. Invites not received. I'm going to go use the washroom, and I'm going to wait for a friend request to pop up here. Best button layout for no paddles? Um, Ninja is the best one.
Homie pulled through. Homie's ready to whoop my ass into the next dimension. Where is he? Where are you? Uh... Hello? Ma? Yo. What's going on, Robbie? How you doing tonight? Are you ready to meet your demise? Oh, I'm gonna keep it a buck with you. I low key put like a lot of hateful comments on your videos sometimes, but I know I mean, you I do. Yeah, I see them all the time. I see them all the time. <laughs> I go look look at this asshole, NGT you know Rose Robbie. Like, I actually have a uh, when I used to play in comp with my friends, I had one guy that actually got coached by you. <laughs> Was it Wookie? <laughs> no, um. I, he's in my friend list too, but um, uh, his name is. Have you ever heard of HZBZ Big Dog? Oh yeah, dad's playing with him not too long ago, I think. Yeah, bro. All right, I'll keep it a buck though. Like, I'm gonna sweat on you for the one v one, but um, you know, we can we we sell them in the one v one. You know what I mean? Okay. I want you to plug in the roller though. I want to see how like if you're actually as cracked as my friends say. Uh, I don't know if I could do that right now, dude. So here's here's the thing. Here's the thing. Um. I don't know if you know this or not, but the more shit you have plugged into your PC, the worse it gets, input-wise, because there's a whole bunch of power getting sent to everything. I built this computer yeah. um, not knowing that my power supply wasn't good enough, so as soon as I have my like stream deck, keyboard, microphone, hard drive, um, USB for the headset, uh, wireless transmitter for the what's it called the mouse and all that shit like i just get crazy input delay and my arthritis right now is through the roof so i'll i'll, I'll hit you first with the with the m and k and then after we see how cracked you are then i'll try to plug in my roller and and see what my thumbs can do but <laughs> no promises that it, i can sweat on the roller need, yeah no i need to see it i i've like i play with some like really good roller players and like uh yeah, I want to see. I want to see. I want to see the district roller. All right, all right. It's it's I more it's more brains than mechanics, but I'll show you. Uh, whatever you want, dude. I'll just kind of copy you right now. I can um, see you tap strafing and lurching. Hi, baby. Oh. Ow! Why are you shocking my I'm face? Sorry. I love you. That hurt me too. Yeah, I don't know why you shocked me so bad. What are you playing with? You got R9 Mastiff. I love you, babe. This guy, this guy wants me to shit in his mouth real quick. Oh, or he wants to shit in my mouth real quick, babe. And then, and then I'll come over there and, and shit in your mouth. All right, what are you doing? Are you doing all attachments here, like all, all maxed out? Uh, yeah. All right, let's do it. Come, f fuck on me. Oh, dude. Oh, I'm a bot. I didn't Let's see. Dude, get it. You're such a fucking sweat, bro. What the fuck am I looking at? What am I looking at right now? I'm looking at 38,000 kills on Octane. Do you just only play Octane, or are you just like... No, no, no. no. Okay, I'm gonna be real with you, bro. Like, you, 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 you need to be beating me, alright? I'm like a... I mean, I don't work a 9 to 5, but like, you know... I know you do this for a living, so you better shit on me. I mean, right. dude, I'm gonna hit tab by accident, and I'm gonna fucking just get shit oh, on. Oh man, bro, I was really hoping that you'd be like plugging in the roller, but I mean, if you're like, you know, I, stuff, I will, like, I will you know, plug, you know. I will plug in the roller. Just give my thumbs a second to stretch out real quick, okay? Because I haven't played controller in like four days. All right. All right. Uh, uh, hold on. How do I? Get this shit off my screen. I also have not played this game in like probably two weeks ago. So. <laughs> Alright, let's do it. Alright, whenever you're ready. Alright, I'll just have you ping, you man. Just we'll ping. just go off your ping. Alright. Okay. Alright, can't be ego challenging pro player. I'm not a pro. 
I'm a TikTok pro. Get your shit right. All right. Let's go. Oh, shit, dude. How do I jump? That's mouse and key, dude. Like, is it actually mouse and key? Yeah, I'm playing mouse and keyboard right now. Let's go this way. Check it for loot here. God damn. All right, all right. Give it to me, Daddy. Give it to me. I'll react. I'll let you. I'll let you swing, and you get the advantage here. Dude, I actually want you to try, please. I don't want I don't want you to like go easy on me. I love how it's... a clip in a, a YouTube short too. That's the best part. Hold on, let me hit record. Let me hit record. Hold on, hold on. let me hit record. I, no, I genuinely, I genuinely want you to try, because I want to see how how good my M and K stacks up against a, like a sweat fuck like you. All right. <laughs> okay. All right. Oh, all right. Whatever. Are you ready? Yeah, yeah. Let's go. I'm just going off your ping. Chat, low key, he's going easy on me, and he's he's building my self confidence, and then he's just gonna go demon mode on me. I know that's what's happening right now. I mean, the one time I played with Hal, I did drop a 2K, so I'm proud of myself. He's been watching the videos, bro. He's trying to force me to step out in the open. Fuck, oh, dude. Yo, TSM, sign me. What? I'm, I'm your, me. I'm your next M&K you... player. Bro, why is it that on your stream then? Like, I'm shit. You, like, no, like, why do you move like a, uh, like you just hit M&K for the first day? Like your aim is obviously there. Like, I don't know. Like one v ones are, one v ones feel different than like when I'm in game. I'm also trying to think about like so many different things. So like my fingers just don't work half the time. I'm taking shots. Ah, oh, dude, my sense is too slow for that. Ah. I don't even know why I'm using an R9 because this shit is fucking nerfed into the ground. It's classic. Oh my god. <laughs> oh dude, leave me alone, leave me alone, leave me alone, leave me alone. Come here, come here, come here, come here, come here. Ah. The worst thing you do in MNK is think too hard about what you're doing, not gonna lie. 100%. You gotta just be a bot and then you just go into flow state. How do I ping? F. We should go here. Bad guys, let's do this. Oh my god, I can't track that. <laughs> my sense is too slow, bro. Mm -hmm. My sense is too slow to track you just moving in a straight line. Alright, he's trolling me now. This is when the demon mode starts to... I just got a dead slide. Try, dude. You're just you're just goofing around, trolling right now. Uh, I, 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 hold on. Uh, I don't think we should use R9 Loki though. I all think right. we should use like meta weapons. All right, all right. Get some good content, you know. All right. Use I meta weapons. Know, I, already, I could see the headline, bro. Like, uh, three times mastered, 4K20, super sweaty octane. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> Dude, the headlines are going to be 40,000 kill Octane main, 20 bomb 4K, can't beat District, brand new to mouse and keyboard. That, that, that's going to pop off, that's going to get a million views. Alright. Uh, Loki, yo, Havoc is kind of this season, so... Uh, okay, you know what, I'm with it. I was actually using Havoc in R5 today, and it was kind of slapping. Havoc, and then, yo, we can get Mastiff, or, you know, we can go with a little PK action, Disruptor. PK, Before Disruptor? Oh, okay. Um... So you're telling me, homie, like, you just swapped, but like, you never played MNK before? This is the first year that I've ever... I probably have less than, like... 50 combined hours over my entire life playing mouse and keyboard games. Games, not even Apex, just mouse and keyboard games. Chat, is this guy ass or or is he trolling? Yeah, he's got nasty fucking skins. Yeah, dude, chat thinks that you're a troll, like. I mean, if you, I mean, if you look up on YouTube, you can definitely see like my video when I popped up. Eyes on here. On how Do you stream? Uh, I I used to. I kind of took a break. Or you just like make content? Okay. So why are you why are you saying that you talk shit on the YouTube videos? Um, I don't know. Like when I talk to like other players that are really good, like yourself, like like Exus, like. Oh. I don't know. I just I I I just don't like. like Oh, you, you just don't like me because I config Yeah, like, I don't know, like, homie, have you seen what XG does? Like, that looks, like, insane. Well, and yeah. You know, like, I'm not one to, like, you know, shit on rollers players for having aim assist because it's just part of the game. Like, it's just me. Have, you know. I feel you. I, I totally feel you in that regard. That's why I never, like, like, did the shit that ecstasy would do. Like, the only tap strafe I would do is, like, a circle strafe. And I even, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'd only do like a circle strafe, um, and I would like tone down how hard the lurches were, so it wouldn't like be like that, like like crazy. And I would never neo strafe. Like I would basically only do, um, like just normal like 180 kind of stuff. Gotta put a little bit more respect on your name. <laughs> I don't know, dude. I still feel like you're trolling me. I'm not gonna lie. Dude. Is it like dead sliding everywhere? More here, and then I'm gonna go back to getting shit on in pubs. <laughs> Dude, how am I dead? Alright, I'm gonna stop being cringe and playing Eddie. <laughs> Damn, 
doing, brother? Oh, dude, you know what? I totally forgot that I had my Cronus Zen plugged in. Let me unplug that really quick. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Right, right, actually, though, like, do, for, for, the, for the content, for the content, if, you, if you're able to, like, and it's not going to impact your health, like, on God, like, I'll, plug in the roller, bro. I'll plug in the roller. Plug in the roller, and I want to see how, how fucking big the difference is. All right, hold on. Dude, I haven't played roller in a little bit, so, like, everything is going to feel weird. Let me, my sense is probably going to feel crazy. Oh, dude, my controller fucking cord isn't even plugged in. One sec. Um, I don't know if I have any spots on my computer for this to go in. I think that's the camera. That's the camera. Oh, what does that smell like? What? What does it smell like? It smells like something's burning. It's my hot ass, babe. Burning a hole in the seat with my fucking thick bootylicious. Whoa, that is insanely fast. Okay, hold on. Hold on, hold on. Alright, chat. Hold on. <coughs> chat, don't tell him. We're gonna start off without aim assist. And if we shit on this guy, then holy fuck, he sucks. All right, you ready? All right, the roller is plugged in. Roller is plugged in. You got my word on it. The roller is on deck. You ready? Hold on, hold on. Wait, 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 wait. I need to figure out what button crouches. You're actually such a troll. Bro. All right, let's go. You ready? Oh shit! Oh, I'm dead sliding everywhere. God, bro, fuck, the head glitches are insane. The only way I can win a 1v1 against you, I can't ego tell you. Even right now, bro, you've got like five times my health and you're not even challenging. <laughs> I was choked up. Alright, I'm gonna stop playing a bitch. I, I just wanted to play yeah. for the, the 1v1, you know? When you're plugged in on your main info, you know? Alright. Lesson Keyboard is my main info, what do you mean? God damn. I can't even fatigue jump right now. <laughs> oh man. Dude. Right, you're actually trolling me. Come on now. <laughs> I'm dead ass, dude. I'm I just haven't played roller in a little bit, so like everything just like movement in general just feels like super weird. I have like literally getting stuck on like rocks. Oh my god. So much. Okay, hold on. Let me see if I can... Hold on, hold on. Let me see if I can unplug some shit so I can just kill this input delay. I don't even know what the fuck all this is. It's a keyboard. If, if you were actually using MNK this whole time, I, I'm actually like genuinely impressed and like you're actually a good player. I like actually put a hell of respect on your name. Oh, I do like, appreciate that's you. That's super impressive. Like switching an input like that and then being able to do everything like just fluidly like that is pretty impressive. Dude, so major, to you. major thank you, dude. Major thank you. I've been, I've been trying. I've been putting in a little bit of work recently. Dude, holy fuck. Honestly, I think MK is just actually so much easier to aim. No, I had to cock my f fucking gun. <laughs> All right. We should go here. Let's go this way. I'm getting warmed up, Daddy. You know, I'm just getting the juices going. Dead slide. Dude. 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 Oh my god. I'm not gonna lie, I will, I will say this on your stream, bro. You were pissing on me earlier. Yeah, you were trolling, though. Like, you weren't even trying. Fuck, dude. I just, I literally cannot even control recoil. 
when you're playing on head glitches. Chat, I will honestly say it is actually super fucking annoying how he just like will not challenge. It's like, it was super annoying when he just would not like challenge at all. And he just sits on the head glitches. Say again? I didn't hear you, my bad. I thought, I'm not sure if you're trolling, but I should have killed you there. I missed the fucking pump that I should have hit. No, I missed so many. Whoa, what the fuck is my internet doing? Shots. You got like really good shots. I'm actually terrible at this game. I have friends that are so much better on MK than I am. I believe that. Dude. I'm just dead sliding every time I move. Dude, stop doesn't landing. No, dude, I'm, I'm, hold on, dude. I'm trying to get warmed up with you on this controller, dude. And once I'm warmed up, I'll turn on my aim assist. Bro, <laughs> oh, it's so funny. Let's go this dude, the dead slides today are fucking immaculate, man. Immaculate. I feel like a fucking... Likeless war veteran. Oh my god, stop. I'm so bad. Fuck. Die, bro. Oh my god, no, I know. You just won. Oh, dude. Wait, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. Alright, ready? I don't know, man. <laughs> Crutch the havoc. I'm trying my best here right now, bro, because I literally am. Fuck! Holy fuck! Now that's fast breaking. Couldn't even fucking see you. I was like shooting up into the air, but somehow all my fucking bullets went to the ground. You're good, dude. I mean, all right, <laughs> all right. I'm turning on my aim assist now. I like literally. I cannot stand missing 99% of my shots. All right, now that means I have the super sweat now. Fucking head glitch, dude. 
How did I hit you for 23 damage? And it shows that, oh, I, it shows... I'm playing like a bitch. I'm gonna head no, 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 it shows four bars instead of five bars, so I'm, tri I'm tripping, I'm tripping, I'm tripping. Oh, shit. The wrong gun was out. Oh, how are you alive? I hit you for 111. Did I, mean, I don't... suck with the habits? Holy freak. I don't know, dude. I think that's a skill issue. Yeah, it definitely is. Holy. Fuck. Chat, the fucking head glitching off of the fucking rip is so annoying. Like... Like, it's literally so annoying. I can't even, like, get close to him. He's literally just sitting here, like, a sliver of his head showing every single time. Like, I'm gonna just do what he does. I'm just gonna do what he does. Oh, okay, now I push you this time. That head glitch is insane. It's insane, yeah. Yeah, that's what it's like fighting you every single round when you start off by yeah. sitting right there, man. That's, uh, that's me. How about we just run at each other, right? Okay. I'm playing like, I don't know if you ever watched the Libel Ace and uh, Guild 1v1 Dolphin Tourney. Yeah, tourney. you're playing like that? That's how freaking Ace is playing, I swear to God. Yeah. That M&K crackhead from Japan. All right, yeah. I'm ready. Let's go this way. I'll Dude, I even stood in the open just strafing in a circle for you. Alright, Loki though, here. if you want to make it interesting and like actually let's get some good content for your <laughs> channel. <laughs> I don't even mean the content in way. Let's do the building fight that uh, Verholz and Hal always do. Oh my god. I'll do, okay, I'll do, I'll do a couple more and then, and then we'll do it. Yeah. Alright. I don't even know what this is. What is this? A building fight. I've never uh, even seen so this before. You play anywhere in this building. Uh, one person starts right here, and then the other person starts right here on this, uh, this one we want to And you just fight building. You can fight doors, you can play this entire building. Okay? So you just start right here. Okay. okay. Alright. Ready, set, go. Wait, what? Oh, there's a hole here. What the fuck? Oh, my bad. You didn't know? No, I'm like, how did he just go oh, from the okay. second floor to the first? <laughs> okay. No, I just, I, I just fatigued and back into here. Yeah, no, I get, I get that. I just, I had, I had no, like, no idea that there's a hole here. What the fuck? Okay. I know, I know now. Okay, okay. Three, two, one, go. Not the melee, bro. Don't guys do me like that. Yeah, <laughs> Alright, last one here. I'm gonna go get right. rolled by some people who are worse than okay, you. Okay, okay, gotcha. Here, here we go, here we go. So if I win this, I can publicly say I'm better than District. <laughs> no, you can't! <laughs> you can do what you want, but you can do what you want, but that's not official. Oh, yeah, that was dirty. Not gonna lie, that movement right there was dirty. I like to end it on that one. I like, I like. Hey, hey, yo, bro. Honestly, though, like, since I know you gotta go, uh, I, I respect you as a controller player. Oh, thank I, you, dude. I just like, I want you to understand, like, I like when I like, 
I mean, I'm not like a pro player or anything, but I, I used to play comp and I like, I scrimmed with Hal and those guys and like, we all, all just hate freaking people who CFG. So that's why like, on, on YouTube, like on God, I'll stop, but like, I just, I had a, a that's like a thing for me in Apex, cause like, I, I, I used to play a lot in the comp scene a little bit here and there. Yeah. So, you know, I, if you can understand, you know. But yeah, no, know, dude, I, I get it. I love the I love the shit you're putting out there. Like, I get it. I get it. Of, like, players. Well, I appreciate, it, dude. Yeah, I get it. I hate I hate configures too, man. Uh, I see them config and they certainly go straight in my face, and I'm like, okay, you're cringe as fuck. But at the end of the day, I think I think um, fair movement mechanic distribution is, um, you know, the right way to go. I think everyone should be able to do the same thing as each other, with the exception of aim assist and that in particular. But yeah, GG, dude. All right. And then one last question for you, brother. Yeah. Magnums. How, how would you rate I wear magnums. On a, oh, yeah? <laughs> no, Go ahead. How would you rate me on, a, on like, a, you know, Apex skill movement? Movement? My, my, friend is, my friend is on your stream right now, the big dog guy, and he is, um, he, he's li he literally is watching, so he's curious. He wants to ask you. Your movement. What do I think your movement is? Movement, like, just aim when I was, like, really for sweating. Stuff like that. I'll I'll give your I'll you were sweating. At the end, at the end, I was like sweating a little bit, like more than like. I uh, okay, okay, okay. But I'm okay. not like I'm not a god or anything, obviously. Uh, I'll get I'll give your aim for mouse and keyboard um a six because okay. I mean I don't know you're I, I was beating you and my aim isn't even good, dude. Like you see me play pups here, um. But I'll I'll give your movement um a six. Give your movement a six. No, I'll give I'll give your movement a seven because I think you can actually keep, I think you did a good job of keeping your momentum. I think that is that's definitely really hard to do on on mouse and keyboard. But I didn't really see you doing anything crazy. Like I didn't see you chaining like I didn't, I didn't see you chaining mechanics almost at all, and I didn't yeah. see you pushing up at all. So I can't even really say that I got to see you use movement because you just sat on a head glitch the whole time, and you didn't really that's push. True. But I would say from what I did see, you you did a, especially in the end there did a good job keeping momentum um but yeah i would like to see you change shit more often all right that's the coaching session pro bono yeah pro bono coaching I up here. you sub, you play you do a twitch right uh yeah when i get back to canada next week i'll be streaming on kick twitch and youtube all right bet, bro you got a sub out of me i appreciate it dog. All right, I will see you soon. I'll keep you added on this account. This is my alt, but uh, if you see me in the future and you want to carry me, go ahead. I bet I'll ask my friends to come on. All right, but, they're all they're also all preds, so you know. Oh, bet. They're, they're same skill level as you. For sure. Bet hook me up because I have no pred friends. <laughs> all right, later, man. GGs. Chat, there's no way that guy's legit, right? Like there, like there's literally, there's literally no way that he was legit trying. I don't know. I don't know. He's not bad. Like he's not a bad guy, but I for real, I for real thought with like 40k kills on Octane, Especially when he started like fucking like stim strafing on me, I thought for for sure he was gonna rock my shit. He either put in no effort, which I I kind of think is a little offensive, low key dragging me in there to not put any effort. Or I don't know, bro. That guy's stats are just way in proportionate to what what I thought I would be dealing with. He's good though. He's not bad. He's definitely not bad. Like if I had to put him up against um, some other people, I, I think he would definitely take the cake. He's definitely not a bad player. I always forget too. You know what? I, I always I always forget this too. Game sense is an asset a lot of players don't necessarily carry. And I think I honestly think if he had just tried pushing me more than I pushed him, I think he would have won a majority of those 1v1s. You know what's something, you know what I did notice he never did? He never tried to shoot to make me look away and then push up off of it. Even when he hit me really hard, he would just sit there. And I, I don't know, maybe it was like a nerves kind of thing and he was just like, he didn't want to like push up and like get fucking magged on. Or I don't know what the deal was. But uh, 
Dude, he just he missed so many easy opportunities to kill me. What rank am I? Um, dude, I'm not gonna lie, I'm actually hard stuck right now in platinum. I just have I've no one to play with, and I like solo queuing is so hard when no one uses their microphone. And I always I always get the fucking idiots who um like run off all by themselves, don't fight. Run into a team, die, and then they like blame me for like not helping them when they when they don't even talk. So I'm actually hard key, like super hard stuck in platinum. I also have no one to play with, which is just so frustrating. Your heart's like silver, how do you think you feel? Dude, I feel like you probably want to kill yourself, and I don't blame you at all. I do not blame you at alls. Alright, I'm gonna make a battery and we'll get out of here. Did I just hear someone? Maybe not, I don't know. Audio bug. You don't play with your mods or admins? No, and the reason why is because it's just a completely different skill level. Like, I'll play pubs with them occasionally. Like, if I have free time, it, like, I, I'll, I'll 1v1, like, Milky, um, my Discord admin. Um, or if I see any other guys online, like, I'll, I'll play with them if, if I have time, or if I'm feeling like it. But I don't, like, go out of my way to play with them just because, like, again, like, I don't... I coach people all day, every day, and it's probably going to sound so shitty, but, like, I do not want to carry people 24-7. You know, I want to I wanna have days where I can just hop on, and when I look at my damage, my teammates have the same, like, my teammates have the same amount, right? Or my teammates play better than me. But I literally play all day, every day with people where I'm dropping... 3, 4x what, what they're putting down, you know? It's just, it, it gets to be really stressful sometimes. Oh my god, that recoil control is awful. Hold on. What am I even shooting? Dude, there's actually a team there. What? I was just shooting for fucking fun, trying to control a recoil. Dude, I was literally thinking to myself, I'm like, why is there so many death boxes here? But there's no one here. Then all of a sudden my fucking teammate is like shooting someone. Hold on, I gotta scratch my nuts. I gotta pinch them really quick. Hold on. Any tips for getting out of platinum with a duo? Super hard to find a trio. Um, but like, if you're gonna be solo queuing, it's super important that you do your best to literally communicate everything with your teammates. Um, simply because you want them to be on the same page as you. Especially if you're not talking, especially if like they're like not in your party, right? Like you, you need them to be like, oh, okay, my two randoms got a break. I should probably push up off this. So like the main, the main thing is really have that super strong communication with your teammates and kind of like just have everyone be on the same page, you know? Pinch and roll, yeah, dude. Pinch and roll is the strategy. Do you ever get bored of Apex? E yes and no. Um, I get bored when I'm not playing good. 
or I get really bored because my hands are hurting me. Like right now, I'm starting to get bored because my hands hurt and I can't do it. This, like do the things I want to do. But overall, no, I don't like. I don't. Oh shit. I'm just gonna back off here. I don't really get bored though. Like I like honestly really love playing Apex. No shot teammate was is that. Who was my teammate? I want to know who my teammate was. Was my teammate good? Like, did I have a good teammate or no? Oh, good. Metal ball scratching strat. Oh, I don't know what that one is. Shriek Lee, solo queue so hard and ranked, I cracked the whole team shield. You saw them recharging their cell and they didn't push. I was 3v1 when I... When I was down, they decide to push. Yeah, I do. That's the worst. It's definitely the worst. I feel you, dude. All right, do we have any cool skins on this account? Dude, my... So I got cross progression, finally. Not all that long ago. And... None of my... Stats from my main Xbox account transferred over to my PC account. So all of... So like my... 40,000 kills on Pathfinder didn't transfer over. My 10,000 kills on Wraith didn't transfer over. Um, my charms did. But none of my stats. And that makes me very sad. Any tips, Hearts Like Brawn? Dude, if you're Hearts Like Bronze, like literally, just watch any of my videos and practice. Like genuinely practice what I talk about in my videos and you will, you will be Hearts Like Platinum in no time, I promise you. Like, like way too many people that like, they just they do not practice how to take a fight properly all they do is they just practice recoil control and they barely do that um like you like you can't if you want to get better at apex you can't just play the game and think that you'll get better that's not how it works that's not how most things work you can play basketball for fun at the y every single day but unless you're genuinely putting in the work to get better you will not get better so if, when people come to me and they're like, "Yeah, I'm hearts like, like I'm hearts like bronze," I most most of the time I'm like, they're just not even like practicing. Like, oh, dude, no fucking way. Next one. The servers do I play? Um, I play Sao Paulo because the extra ping makes it really easy to kill people. Oh, why do I have 135 ping on Iowa? What the fuck? All right, last game. This is my last game, and then I'm gonna hop off. Apex is too irritating to just um, too what? too intricate to just aim. Exactly. There are so many little things you can do in every situation. Every split second decision you make can be the difference between losing or winning a fight. Exactly. At the end of the day, what a lot of people need to figure out and just fucking realize is you better be swinging motherfuckers or else you're going to get fucking swung. And it is so much harder to react to what someone is doing as opposed to just acting and make that person react to you. I would rather swing someone than let him come and swing me. Yo, dude, you're actually s like crazy. Holy shit, 20k kills? Almost 20k? Kudos to you, man. Like, that's actually like nutty. Watch, I'm gonna compliment this guy. He's not gonna say anything. He's not even gonna type back. Trash. Wow. <laughs> oh, that actually kind of hurt my feelings. Low key. I you, you play controller or mouse and keyboard. Controller. So you aim assisted your way to twenty thousand kills. Is what you're saying. I just don't send emails. I feel you. I feel you. I'm learning how to send emails right now. It's actually really, really uh, hard.
All right, yeah, that's my last one. I'm going to hop off. Um, appreciate sure everyone stopping by today, dude. Um, I'm going to go drink a whole bunch of beers, and I'm going to cuddle my girlfriend because I leave Kentucky um, on Sunday, and I'm going to be flying back to Canada for about two months before I come back down. So I'm going to go and enjoy absolutely every last second I can with this immaculate, beautiful, just outstanding person. And um, I will see you guys when I get back to Canada. I have no coaching. I have no streams. I have nothing until next week. Um, but yeah, when we get back to Canada, we're going to get ready to rock and roll. And we're going to fuck some shit up. Appreciate everyone stopping by today. Love you all so much. Uh, if you guys got any questions, hit me up on Discord. If you guys are ever interested in booking a coaching session with me, link in the description of this video. Um, and all of my other videos. Or head on over to my website, thedistrict.pro. And I will see you all really really soon. Again, thank you all so much. Later.